Hey guys, it's Danelle from Weedem and Reap and have I got a fun video for you. It's about time that I did a video based on how we feed our goats and everything that we do to make sure that they are in tip-top shape. So let's get started. We live on an acre of land in the city and we have seven goats right now. We've always kept a rather small herd of goats because we're in the middle of the city and we don't want to have a huge herd, but it's still important to us that we give them the best possible nutrition. So here's how we do it. 95% of their diet is alfalfa, or we'll give them some alfalfa Bermuda pellets. And this is roughage and great for their diet. It has a high amount of protein, a great calcium to phosphorus ratio, and overall just a great food for goats. They always have access to our pasture as well, our pretty tiny pasture, but they get a variety of weeds and definitely some Bermuda grass that they'll nibble on. They also have access to a Sweet Licks mineral blend as well as some baking soda in case they feel bloated. This is a way for them to remedy that themselves if they eat too much food, which happens to the best of us. The does that are in milk, when they come to the stand, they get a half a cup of our grain and sunflower seed blend. Sometimes I'll throw in some pumpkin seeds as well. That's a great dewormer and it has a lot of nutrients in it. Everything that I talk about is going to be laid out in an article on my blog in the description. So if you want exact measurements of everything, click on it. If I'm on top of my game, I also give them a teaspoon of a herbal and yeast mixture. The herbs that I provide are a variety of plants that they would find naturally if they were living in the wild. And goats need variety in their diet, so this is just going to give them a boost of nutrients, a variety of things they don't normally come across in our tiny pasture. The yeast is actually a probiotic for them and it helps their rumen and it helps build good bacteria in their gut. Every week or so, I will put a little pinch of the Pat Colby mix, which is a combination of copper, dolomite, sulfur, kelp, and boron. And it's a way for us to just make sure that they get everything they need. And it's a great antidote to copper poisoning as well. Now, about every two weeks, we do a big checkup on everybody. We will look at their FAMACHA scores, which is a way for us to determine if they have a high worm load, and we'll usually at that time go ahead and give them an herbal dewormer. Now, I'm not opposed to using chemical dewormers, but our vet, actually most vets, will encourage you to try to manage things as holistically as possible, because in agriculture, there's a big problem with animals developing a resistance to the chemical dewormers. When I use the herbs to deworm them every two weeks, I'm mixing in Molly's Herbal Mix Dewormer along with some molasses and some Probios Paste, which is just a little boost of probiotics. I'll also usually supplement them with a little bit of Reflamin Gel, which is another little boost of minerals and nutrients just to make sure that they're getting everything that they need. Also, this is when we usually trim their hooves, brush them, and trim the udders of the milking does. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, Fern doesn't really know the milking stand, so uh, just go come on, there you go. Walk. Look, we have some treats for you. <sighs> Yeah. Now we don't need to shave her udder, but we need to trim those hooves. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. okay. Take turn, your time. You gotta turn around. There you go. Yeah, she's she wants to burn. Yeah. Come on, Stella. Cool. Oh. <laughs> gotta teach her to go up the stand. Look up the stand. There's a stand here. There. Oh, oh my gosh. That was so good. <laughs> All right, see you later, okay, Stella. Stella. <laughs> All right, come on, Willow. You get to come up here this time. It's not over here. Yeah, you get to. Yeah, you get to climb up. Go. Oh. <laughs> Just needs a little help on the back end. <laughs> there you go. That's it, Willow. All right, you're done. She looks fat to me. Yeah, she looks very fat. All right, come on, Tilly. You know the routine. You're a milker.
Come on, Tilly. Come on. Remember who you are. Dora. Dora. Doris is so happy to be in here. Doris. An extra treat today. Heck yes. Here you come, Doris. I can't remember if she's good or bad at this. Doris, you are done. Get out. You got a nice, clean, utter. Have a good day, Doris. Be nice. Make lots of friends. All right, next in line, next oldest is Luna. Luna, you get two up the ramps today. It's Come amazing. Okay. Ready? Go. Go. Go back. Go back. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need okay, help. Gotta go back. Oh! What is this? She sees the hair. She's like, <laughs> she's like, I'm she's not gonna get on that nasty stand. Come on, fast. Okay. There you go. All right, Luna. <laughs> I'm done with you. Yes. Oh, just go eat something. I couldn't even film trimming Luna's hooves because we all have to help hold her down. It's a fiasco. Bye, Luna. Just, just run over her. Step just you have to jump over the pig. Just run over her. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> and the oldest goat on our farm, Miss Penny, who hates the ramp. Hey, last goat. Hey, bye Penny. Have a good day. Finally, about once a year, we do usually a copper bolus in the spring. Copper is a mineral that goats can become deficient in, and it also is a great way for them to keep their parasite load down. You have to be really careful how you administer it, but it can be a great addition yearly to your farm. Hopefully this gave you guys a glimpse into what we feed our goats, all the supplements and minerals to make them as healthy as possible. You're never gonna have the perfect herd of goats. You'll always have little issues here and there just because life and things that happen on your farm. But hopefully you can give your goats the best diet possible and the best nutrients possible for them to live a long, healthy life. All right, that's it guys. We'll be back to our regular vlogs in just a couple days. And so you can check out our daily life and all the crazy that's happening on the farm.